Hey everyone, welcome to the Fruit and Strength Show. And yes, those two things can go together. And I'm living proof there right here. If you don't believe me, you should go to the Woodstock Fruit Festival this year. It's gonna be the last one. So I'm gonna do some weightlifting stunts. I'm gonna be doing like uh, 10 reps of 405 if I can. Hopefully I have a good day. And uh, maybe some double body weight bench press, reps or something. And what else? I don't know, some military press, my own body weight up in there. Not many people are gonna be able to do that. But uh, in this video, I wanna to talk to you guys. I was a little wrong in my last video talking about the Chicago's most expensive mango. Well, I finally found one that topped it. <laughs> now, before I show you this case of mangoes, or uh, the price on this mangoes, how much do you think this, this case of mangoes costs? It's seven mangoes. How much do you think this costs? How much do you think? 25 bucks. It's five, five pounds of mangoes. I think that it comes out like five something, five bucks a pound of mangoes, uh, five bucks a pound. And it's got seven mangoes in it. So I bought this with, <clears throat> with somebody else. So I didn't buy the whole thing. Uh, this is super expensive. I've, I've never bought, this is the most expensive fruit that I've ever bought in my whole life. Actually, I take that back. I think the Champa Dock that I got at, at uh, Woods, uh, Woodstock in Hawaii was the most expensive. Uh, so yeah, another thing I want to talk to you guys about in this uh, video is I was thinking about doing a strongman competition in Indiana. I went there two years ago, uh, two years in a row, but I'm, I'm thinking about doing a third one. The only thing, I went to a, uh, a strongman gym and I tried to do more, one of the events that they're going to have there. It's like a 165 pound log press and push it up in the air. And, um, you know, I did some practice with it and I really, really hurt my elbows doing it. Um, and I'll post a video while I'm talking about this so you guys see what I'm talking about. Basically, when you're setting up for this log press, and uh, since, you know, I'm not like the biggest dude in the world, um, you know, just, you know, just, uh, you know, uh, skeleton wise is that uh, you know when I'm doing this press you know usually when I'm military pressing you know I'm, I have my arms like this so all the pressure can go all the way to the pressure can go to my elbows right here when you're out like this you see what happens is that the all the pressure is going right here and I really hurt my elbows I actually had a hard time driving after this after doing that oh, I just hit this thing but uh yeah I, I was pushing it up like that and it was just not good for my elbows uh, i know people like olympic weightlifters if they don't do that snatch and clean right they you know they can break their arm and everything that's one of the one of the reasons why i don't do olympic weightlifting my myself so uh let me chat with you more on that uh but first i want to here's that here's one of the mangoes this came all the way from pakistan this mango and it comes out to be like uh, close to four bucks a mango. That's what it looks like. Um, this one's not totally ripened yet. So, yeah, I'm going to give you guys a taste and see. I got this at Fresh Farms in Chicago. I know a lot of people ask me, well, where do you get your fruit from? It's no, you know, it's not lo no longer, you know, where do you get your protein from? They're like, why, you know, I see you eating all this kind of fruit, but, you know, the real question I have for you now is where do you get your fruit from? So I got it at Fresh Farms, the excellent store in Niles, Illinois, one of my favorite grocery stores. I, I live about like 45 minutes away, but I used to go there every weekend or so because they got such good deals. Um, another good place around my 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 place is uh, Garden Fresh. But uh, yeah, let me uh, chop this open and tell you guys what I'm gonna have. So it's always good to use a cleaver uh, cutting mango. I'm just I'm just messing around there with you guys. So a lot of people are asking me like how do you how do you eat your mangoes? Well, I like to eat it like a melon. So I kind of just like slice it in the middle right here. I know a lot of people do a porcupine method and uh, they take a like a glass and they you know do that way, but uh. Yeah, so, uh, like I said, you know, in my other videos, I wish I could just share this with you guys, you know, 
you know, sometimes I get this crazy exotic fruit and I feel, I feel really, um, you know, really grateful that I get to have this stuff because I know people around the world, you know, it's, you know, it's impossible for them to try this for whatever reason, maybe a location, money wise. And, um, you know, I'm not saying I'm rich or anything. I'm by far, I, 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 I live pretty cheap on this diet. I get really good deals and I'm very fortunate to do this. So let me give you a first bite of this. Oh. Okay, that was non-fibrous, super sweet. Kind of reminds me of a manila mango, which is very popular around here. It's the yellow mangoes that you get around. And uh, it's got like this uh, aftertaste, like a honey taste to it. So good. Man, that mango is so good. Mm. It doesn't have that like floral taste like I had with the other Indian mango that I had. By the way, let me show you the box one more time what this, this looks like in case you, you guys want to try this if you're in town. You won't believe how many people message me. They're like, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm coming into Chicago. I want to know where all the best fruits are. You know, I need to make a list on that. I've been meaning to do that for a while. Yeah, so get back on the strongman thing. I was such in, I was so much in pain after this. It really made me realize that I really shouldn't take the, the chance of getting injured. And I don't think I'm going to be there this year. I really want to, though. Um, but that, I could do all the other events and they have like a, they have a deadlift thing, and I'm awesome with deadlifts. So it was a, it's like a, uh, de a deadlift frame uh, lift where you're kind of like in this boxed up shape thing, and then you pick it up like that. It's kind of almost like a trap bar deadlift, which is really cool. And you could use straps with it, so you could even move more weight. I think I can move about, I don't know, it's at a, it's about 18 inches off the ground. So I, that's like a rack pole. So I'm rounding, I'm guessing maybe 550, 600 pounds that, I'm, that I would be able to do. I was thinking about doing it um, anyways. I mean, I could do the one, you know, I'll do 165 pound log press and I'll do that once. Which, by the way, that's only, that's like uh, 20 pounds over my body weight. You know, put that in perspective, you know. They, they say, some people say that doing military press you know, shoulder press over your head once of your body weight is uh, very, you know, uh, impressive. Um, and my goal for that is 170 pounds, which is considered elite status for that. Um, I'm going to have a video on that, and I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of other military press videos because I, I shoulders, to give you an idea on how far I came with those things, uh, when I was in high school, uh, middle uh, uh, freshman year in high school, I remember vividly in football, I could only do the bar. I could only do the bar. Now I'm doing, uh, you know, I'm doing more than what some people bench out there. You know, I'm doing, you know, like 145 pounds for reps. You know, I did, I did eight reps of 135 the other day. So in strict press, good form too. Not like throwing it up like a push press or anything. Good form. So, uh, yeah, I got some awesome videos coming with that. I got a whole bunch of lifting videos. I got some informative videos coming your way. Just some awesome stuff. Mm. I wish I could just send this to you. Is it worth the 25 bucks? That's the real question. Is this box really worth 25 bucks? To be honest with you, I'd rather just go for the manila mangoes. You can get a you know, case of 12 for like six bucks uh, in season right now in Chicago, you know, or in the Chicago land area. So I, I would probably, go, you know, I, you know, if you could grab a friend or family member or a girlfriend or, you know, your um, significant other, you know, grab one of these, um, you know, try it out just to say you did, you know, to show these, uh, you know, these grocery stores that you're interested in exotic fruits because more people are who are interested in these things the more that they're gonna they're gonna you know even if you could get only one one box or one mango 
just to show that you're interested in it, that you're willing to pay the price, that pay a little bit more for some crazy exotic fruit. And no, you know, uh, grocery stores managers will listen. All right, you throw some money at people, and they're like, "Oh, well, well what do I got to do to make a buck around here?" So you know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, and it's a good thing. Uh, you know, people say money is evil and everything, but it can be used in a good way. You know, especially if you're getting really good, crazy, exotic fruit. They got rambutans in the store nowadays and lychees, you know, at, at the regular grocery store, at Jewel, if you're familiar with that, for dollar, for a dollar a pound. You know, some places like five bucks a pound. But now even the grocery, uh, regular grocery stores are carrying crazy, exotic fruit for really cheap. So, yeah, that's all I want to share with you guys on this. I really want to do that strongman competition, but uh, I, I just don't want to hurt myself over that. I'm still going to do powerlifting and, like, you know, my bodybuilding exercises and things like that. So, uh, yeah, definitely check me out at the last Woodstock Fruit Festival ever. So, hopefully, maybe, maybe even somebody will buy it. Maybe I'll get, like, 100,000 views on this video or something. They're like, oh. And then I'll take over the Woodside Fruit Festival. I don't think that's going to happen, though. Um, but you never know. You never know. And, 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 and there wouldn't be no, you know, I would try to, if I was going to run Woodstock, we would have some crazy mangoes. It would just be a mango fest. I would change it to just mango fest 3,000 something. I don't know. It would be crazy. It would just be mangoes. And uh, what else could we get? maybe black supposes all these crazy exotic fruits that I've always wanted to uh, grab that's what I would do that would be my Woodstock Fruit Festival it's crazy a whole bunch of uh, friends weightlifting and crazy a whole bunch of crazy exotic with um, you know fruits like black chipotle which tastes like chocolate pudding and rollenia that tastes like lemon meringue pie and all these crazy exotic fruits a hundred different kind of mangoes everything it would it would be epic. And sugar cane juice, like 50 different kind of varieties of sugar cane juice. It'd be, it'd be crazy. So, uh, and people would come from all over the world. You know, it would, you know, nobody would even think about, you know, the past Woodstocks or Thai Fruit Festival or, you know, any of that stuff. They'll be like, you know, Mike's crazy exotic fruit fest. That's what I would go to. It would be in a. I don't even think I would have it in what New York. I would have it like in the Philip, or not Philippines. Like maybe where is a good place? Where where would you have uh, your uh, exotic fruit festival? I would have it maybe in. Uh, I, I, not Jamaica, but the Caribbeans. I think that I think that it looks better, or uh, the Fuji Islands, or something like that. That's where I would have it. Anyways, this video is getting kind of long for what it is. Hope you guys found this informative in some way. My air conditioning just topped on. So, anyways, sending you guys much love, Mingos. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. You guys, uh, make sure to go to Fresh Farms if you're in Chicago. If you guys want to get some crazy good mangoes, I'd probably go for the Manila, Manila mangoes because they're cheaper, anyways. I'll see you guys in the next video. I got some awesome videos coming your way. Fruit and strength, baby.